Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I'm here today to give you another, another lesson from the book of Luke. And we're in the 18th chapter now. And some really good stuff in Luke. So we have a short little passage here to read to you and talk about. Let's take a look at it. Luke chapter 18 and verse 15. One day some parents brought their little children to Jesus so he could touch them and bless them. But when the disciples saw this, they scolded the parents for bothering Jesus. And then Jesus called the children and said to the disciples, let the children come to me, don't stop them. For the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Well, let's try to see this scene in, in a big picture, in a picture uh, in our head. A bunch of parents bring their kids, and they want Jesus to bless them. Well, why wouldn't they? Uh, lepers wanted him, him to bless them. Paralegics wanted, them, wanted him to touch them. All kinds of people wanted Jesus to touch them. Why wouldn't parents want them to? What's so strange about that? And, and why would that get the disciples so upset? But they bring their children, and the disciples get mad at the parents. Now, when we start thinking that the disciples were these wonderful, absolutely perfect men, well, they weren't. Neither are you or me. The only perfect one was Jesus. And so, for whatever reason, they are upset that the children were, they said, bothering Jesus. You know, for a man who cares so much about people, who cares so much about you or me, I would argue that you can't bother him. Because all you do is really touch his own desire which is to share concern and care for you. Now, I know some of you listening today may not know that relationship, but you can, because it's based on Jesus caring, not us caring. All we have to do is accept the caring and try to walk with him afterwards. But in any case, disciples, they are not happy. And so Jesus stops Jesus. Jesus has a way of saying things that just sort of stop us in our tracks. He wasn't subtle about almost anything. If he had something he wanted to say, he said it. Now, in today's political world, we like this guy because he tells us where it is. He tells us what he's going to do. He tells us, but, but those telling aren't based on care and compassion. Jesus is was. And so he says to the disciples, let the children come to me. Don't push them off. Don't push them away. For the kingdom of God belongs to people like children. You know, I've been a preacher a long time. and Had a lot of services where kids made a lot of noise. And it never really bothered me. In fact, sometimes I even can incorporate their noise into the sermon and, uh, and, and make a point about it. But a lot of times us adults get, well, we make Christianity too confusing. See, that's what's so good about children. And Jesus says here, that anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of heaven like a child will never get to go into it. What do children do? Well, first off, they just trust. You have to, you have to grow up some to not trust. In, at least in most cases, most children will trust. If you stick your hands out, they'll try to come to you. 
They don't ever think that you're just teasing them uh, and waiting for them to fall. If if they if you have a a, a goodie, a, a candy or a, a fruit or something that you know they like, and you hand it out to them, they think you're gonna give it to them. They don't think you're gonna tease them and jerk it back. Children have an innate ability to trust. Now, okay, they aren't very sophisticated in their thinking yet. Their brains aren't completely developed. That won't happen for a long time, actually. But they trust. And generally speaking, almost all children are very loving. And the crazy thing is the the non-normal children, like those who have Down syndrome, are particularly loving. So Jesus says, you got to be like one of those if you want to enter the kingdom. Now, does he mean we have to be naive and we, we don't have to have a very big, uh, sophisticated brain? No. But what he's saying is, entering the kingdom of heaven is real simple. All you have to do is trust Jesus. Oh, I know there are formulas. Confess your sin, pray this way, some things like that. And and they're all part of the equation. But really, all you have to do is tell God, I'm changing. I've been wrong, and I want to walk with you. However you say it, whatever words, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. It's really, really simple. It's just that we adults make it complicated. We had to, well, but what about, or you know you're just trying to pull one over on God, or, well, you know God doesn't do those things. But the truth of the matter is, all of that is just fluff. And a child knows it. I remember years ago, lots of years ago, my oldest daughter was about three. And somehow or another, she heard it was going to snow that day. So I, I caught her standing at the front door, uh, the storm door, looking out. She just stood there, just stood there, just stood there. And finally said, Andrew, what are you doing? Well, Daddy, I'm waiting to see the snow. She was told it was going to snow, so she went to go see it. In her mind, it was that simple. And following Jesus is that simple. If you're struggling, if your day's not going real well, or or you've been sort of just stagnating for a while, kind of trying to hang on, become like a child. Trust God to do something different. You know, back when COVID was around, I told the church, look, we've got two possibilities here. One, we can try to hang on till it ends and see what happens. Or we can say, hey, Here's an opportunity to do something different. What can we do and still share the kingdom? Well, we chose the latter. Some churches chose the former. Many of those churches didn't make it. We can choose. You and me, we have the ability to choose. It's up to us or it's up to you and me. You're going to choose to follow God in Forget about what's happening and just trust him like a little child would do. Or you're going to continue to live your life full of butts. Well, I I chose the the first option a long time ago. I've never regretted it. Can't say I never had any problems. So I wish I could, but that's not life either. But I can say, I'm sure glad I chose to follow Jesus. And I hope... You have, or you will, and you're really glad to. Well, thanks for listening. Be back tomorrow. Got another story from Luke. And uh, take care of yourself. If you have a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your needs. Thanks so much for listening. I wish you the best. Have a great day.